trait theory is primarily about identifying commonly shared traits or characteristics between people and then taking that information to make predictions about who they are, who they will be. So the big five factor model of personality is the most popular trait model today and it's widely used not just in psychology but also in businesses, also in education. So you'll want to know that the big five theory is a trait theory and you'll also want to be familiar with the five dimensions of this theory. And it's really important to know that uh, very few people are all the way on one extreme on these five dimensions. Uh, it's just that some people lean more one way than others. But you want to know what these are. Uh, there's a nice acronym to help you remember those. Uh, if you line these up a certain way, they spell OCEAN, O-C-E-A-N. You can also s scramble them up and spell CANOE, uh, but OCEAN is the more commonly used acronym, whatever works for you as long as it helps you. So let's start with O. I use OCEAN, so let's start with O. O stands for openness. Now this has to do with openness to experience. Uh, someone that scores high on openness usually likes to try new things. They are open to new experiences. They like to go to new restaurants. They'll uh, watch new movies or listen to new kinds of music. Uh, but they're very much open to new experiences. Someone who scores low on this dimension uh, pretty much just likes the same routine, doesn't like to, to try new ways of doing things. The C stands for conscientiousness, and this has to do with how organized, how reliable you are. So if you're very organized, you'd be a high score on conscientiousness. If you're not very organized, you'd be a low score on conscientiousness. The E stands for extroversion. You may have heard these terms before, but people who score high on this dimension are called extroverts. Uh, they like to be around a lot of people. They enjoy uh, parties or being around many different types of people. They usually have a lot of friends. Someone who scores low on this scale is usually called an introvert, and they prefer to be by themselves or just with a few uh, close friends. So extroversion has to deal with your need to be around people. A stands for agreeableness. This has to do with your general emotional style. Uh, people who score high on this dimension are usually described as friendly, positive, optimistic people. Uh, people who score low on this scale are usually defined as grumpy and uh, just not very easy to get along with. And then finally, N stands for neuroticism. Uh, people who score high on neuroticism uh, tend to be described as emotionally unstable, whereas people who score low on neuroticism uh, tend to be described as emotionally stable. So you'll want to know all five of those and also what they're associated with. It's also interesting to note uh, that depending on your culture, there's different ideas of what is preferred. Um, here in America, other individualistic societies, um, the first four dimensions, uh, we usually prefer people that score high on those and people that score low on neuroticism. Uh, but that's not true of all cultures. Uh, Americans tend to prefer extroverts over introverts, but collectivistic cultures uh, tend to actually prefer the opposite. So there's evidence for all five of these dimensions in multiple cultures, but they're perceived in different ways. So make sure you know those big five factor dimensions and know that they are representative of trait theory.